All right, I have a leftover rotisserie chicken, store-bought. I wanted to share that. You see the cartilage right there? Oops, steam. My stock is not done until that cartilage is dissolved into this. Normally by that time the meat has no flavor. So if you're going to use chicken soup, um, you can use this, the meat. It's, it's fine. See there's the cartilage from the breast, the center, the, the middle of the breastbone. Oops, fogging again. Sorry about that. But I cook it until all that cartilage is just literally melted into the um, liquid. It's liquefied. There. See. So I was going to use this, but nope, it's not ready. The bones, by that time, I've noticed I can I can take them and pinch it, and they just go to powder. And I don't have a problem giving that to my dog. Now, one of our backyard chickens, even if it's not that old, those bones, you cannot do that. I can cook it for days, and that bone will stay solid. It's hollow. It becomes very hot. Um, the insides disappear, but it's it's not something I would give to a dog or a cat because the bones, um, I know that they, that could cause them some problems, but these bones, no problem. I can I can grind them and make them into a meal. Um, bone meal, I guess. Anyway, thought I'd share the, my little trick. And the, there's a lot of flavor already in this. And all I do is add some bay leaves to this. And that's just something I always do whenever I make a stock of any kind. I put bay leaves in it. And later on depending on what I'm going to do with it. I like to keep it very plain because depending on whatever soup I end up using it in or just drinking it, I may, I'll add garlic and onion and whatever at that point. But this is going to be my sauerkraut soup later today.